Bonjour and ciao bella. I think that's Italian for hello. Right, we're in the little picturesque village of Montgenève, which is on the very edge of France, and the border is literally there, where that lorry is just coming through there. That's the that's Italy on the other side of there. Um, I'm just going to talk you through the camping car air or as they say in France air de camping car so what we've got on the right hand side is a 24 hour petrol diesel and LPG station there's also electric hookups there that little bridge actually is for the skiers there's a piste um, that's the bus which stops here and it takes you into the resort which is a quarter of a mile or half a mile to the centre over there right so that ski run piste goes all the way around in a curve and ends up below the air de camping car which is dead handy because you come out of your camper in the morning um, you have to walk to the edge of the camping car park this end here across the road put your skis on there and off you go just down to the lift which is 300 meters away so just walk you up here there's 220 camper spaces here and at the mo oh this is where you can put all your recyclables and waste this is the only place uh, there isn't anywhere else in the camping car park that's where you're meant to empty it all that's the bus stop uh, currently out of 220 places there's 102 left now we turned up on Friday night at about 11.30 p.m. and there was only 33 spaces left so we decided to wait till one minute past midnight before we went in to get our ticket uh, so that we didn't pay for a full day just for half an hour's worth of parking um, this is the exit and you need to get um, you need to pay for your ticket however many days you stayed here you pay um, when you leave so you collect your ticket for nothing and then however many days you're here uh, you pay for it at the end and it gives you a, a code or something I'm not quite sure yet in order to get out through there uh, right this was full up nearly on Friday night so this car park is in three tiers we're in the bottom tier at the moment and these are all the electric points there's loads of them they ask you to park three meters away from each other but no one does not I've noticed anyway um, they're all within less than two meters uh, when it's full up like it was over the weekend and then come Sunday end of the day mass exodus all the Italians loads of French and that just disappear go home they only ski the weekends and then the diehards are there's a lot of season skiers here that stay for the whole season and what they have to do is uh, park for seven days and then go out pay for the seven days and go out and then come back in again ten minutes later and start fresh with a new uh, ticket because after seven days the price goes up substantially that's my favorite camper that one really nice uh, so we're still in the bottom tier and I'm just going to point out on the middle tier 
that hut there and in the distance you can see that chairlift which goes right over the top of the camping car park but that shed building <coughs> chalet cabin whatever you want to call it is where you empty your waste uh, you can refill with fresh water and away you go right so that's us there and there's a few English here in fact they're all staying they've all got season passes and they're doing what I say they park for seven days and then go out or they go to another resort because you get so many three days at different resorts with the um, Montgenerve season pass in fact our six day pass has given us one day at um, a load of other resorts I might put a list on in the comments now we were parked there uh, right next to that huge snow mound and because the weather is so cold at night minus 16 last night um, our water froze up and basically we've got to um, have the water coming straight out the wastewater from washing up and showers straight out into buckets and then you go and empty the bucket because what happens it freezes up in your storage grey tank your grey storage tank and freezes up that's knackered the whole of the weekend or the week so what I've had to do at the back is disconnect it from the storage tank and just have it on a, a pipe leading out here and this is what happens see just forms ice straight away and then you empty these each time um, you've used them so they don't freeze up as well and you're good to go now electric there's um, as I say there's probably uh, I don't know if there's 220 electric points it does seem like it but when I read somewhere it said there's 120 electric points but I don't know how true that is and since I read information on this place they've built that petrol station down there as well which is dead handy uh, we didn't know that so we filled up down the bottom and they also put a D, um, an antifreeze in the diesel so it won't freeze up in extreme temperatures uh, just put these hooks they're only suction hooks on the side so we can hang our um, rucksacks and ski helmets and things off of those when we get back um, at the front we've got the windscreen cover which is uh, slightly insulated but it's not a very good one I thought it was alright but I've been told it's not very good because this point here when the snow falls and then melts off it gets trapped down in the gully and won't drain away because it freezes up and then that gets full up of ice so I need to get some kind of um, skimmer that fits across there so the rain can end up going across and a lot of the vehicles have got bonnet covers as well to keep the engine warm um, so I'll just take you inside now hello permission to come in hello what are you up to uh, just about well in here the beef cooking oh great Got Is beef there. Beef for dinner tonight. Yeah, dinner. Okay. Uh, so, um, what beef. are you cooking on? Beef. No, what are you cooking on? Oh, the, the hob, uh, electric one. Induction hob electric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that works all right, does it? Yeah. Don't you need plug it in yet? Don't you need to plug it in first? No, not yet. Right, okay. Right. I'll try. No, you don't need to yet. It's all right. You're just preparing, aren't you? Uh. Yeah, that, that works. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. So basically we're plugged into electric, we got yeah. 10 amps usage mm. within the ticket price and we can use the microwave, uh, the hob obviously mm. instead of the gas one which is actually underneath, uh, we've got the fridge on electric, we've also got a little electric heater somewhere, oh, it's down there in the bathroom uh, just to take the chill off in there in the mornings um, what else electric are we using doing well electric everything yeah really yeah oh yeah the um, 
Carver Cascade 2 uh, we can use the electric which is a 700 watt element in that so we've got that that's that orange light there so that's switched on um, the gas which is that series of dots going across in an arc that's the full tank we haven't hardly used anything uh, so that's brilliant um, got a TV but I've got a dish on the roof automatic dish to get the Astra 2e satellite and although it actually does home in on it we can't pick up a signal probably because the dish isn't big enough and we're so far south that we're really out of its range uh, just go through to the front it's all dark in the front because uh, of that windscreen cover and basically we just use this as our dumping area um, ski boots, helmets, rucksacks and everything go in there overnight and then this shutter comes down and closes it off so we don't have to heat that area okay so that's that um, we've got the diesel night heater which is very useful and in the morning I um, put our boots all lined up uh, with the hull, the boot the foot hole facing those vents and in 10 minutes they're really warm and toasty put them on they're lovely um, right let's go back outside again yeah yeah it's fine okay so we're back outside haven't got much more to tell you really except the main village is over there and it's definitely within walking distance uh, there's little supermarkets, pizza shops, restaurants, bars, cafes, everything you need. Um, and also, there's a telecabin um, just in the distance where they've, it takes you up to the luge. They've got a luge monorail sledge type thing, which I wanted to have a go on today, but they said, sorry, it's closed because the weather's too cold and anything below 10 degrees uh, minus 10 they can't use it so uh, couldn't get on that um, that's about it really don't think I can tell you much more apart from if you have a look at all these campers they're all seasoned skiers so they know what they're doing um, I don't because our water did freeze up uh, as I say I was parked there to start with and uh, it was too much in the shade and minus 16 our water waste pipe froze up um, hopefully we're all right now uh, that's the roof got a dish up there and a TV aerial which we can't we can pick up French TV but that's all and then that little aerial next to the spare wheel is a let's get this right it's for the router uh, Huawei router um, which works from a sim card and that's inside but we had to reconfigure the APN on that wherever that is I had to reconfigure it to work in France we we're on a smarty um, network and it's unlimited data but you go to France you go abroad from England and it puts you into the um, what do they call it uh, a fair usage allowance which is 12 gigabytes and we watched the last episode of a good TV series called Happy Valley um, it was the last episode so we wanted to see it didn't want to miss that one and we watched it last night and that um, I then get a notification from Smarty to say that I've really used you nearly used my fair usage data up 11 gigabytes in one go so uh, we're probably not going to do that again anyway that's a view of the village of Montgenerve there's a lot of um, cross-country skiing goes on down there that's an Olympic cross-country 
circuit or whatever they call it I don't know uh, there's an ice rink up there as well and also there's a lot of uh, snow walking goes on um, and at the moment we're standing on the Italian side of the road there okay so that's all I can tell you thank you bye I uh, just thought I'd uh, bring you up here and show you around the cabin that's here inside this door they've got a lovely big screen there uh, touch screen for all your information should you require it um, inside here automatic light is the uh, payment for the ticket so that's all this is used for it's lovely and warm in here though it's freezing outside there's the prices this season actually that says from 2021 uh, as you can see uh, six days 62 euros one day is 18 and then it goes up uh, seven days is 70 and then the eighth day is another 35 on top so people stay for seven days and go out and then start again at day one okay uh, I don't know if there's Wi-Fi here we haven't been able to find out so you go out of the front door again I'll just take you around the back I don't slip over on the ice okay so walking around the back of it there's not a lot goes on really in this building uh, you go empty your toilet your cassette toilet there sign sign there and then once you've emptied it you go in here and you can rinse it with water on this trough okay so that's for rinsing it this side is uh, fresh water for filling up your cans which is what this chap's doing uh, that's the best tap at, at that end very fast so that's that you can do your washing up in that it does allow you to do that if you want and then just at the side is a drainage hole for your grey water if you want to drive over here or you can use the cans as most people are and just um, draining them in there every day okay uh, fire hydrant so that's it all right right well it's night time here at Montgenerve it's going to be about minus 17 tonight we're parked up in the camping car park with electric uh, and the only way to fill up is water is my water can which I've just gone and filled up then I've got my Bosch pump submersible pump hang on a minute I haven't undone that yet let me just undo my special Dutch jerry can which has got a massive uh, filler cap big enough to drop my pump in so we drop that in to the bottom put the Oh, everything's frozen up so cold all right drop that in there then I'll switch it on there and it's filling up uh, 25 litres going in there oh you need them for France as well uh, anything over whoa That wasn't meant to happen. Oh hell. <laughs> That'll teach me. I'm not holding it in. Right. That's nearly there. That's a battery in there. Bosch battery. Drill battery. And that's it. Done. 
Okay, so that's filled my, well I haven't filled my tank up, let's put 25 litres in there, which will last us a couple of days if we're careful. Okay. Lucky that water spray didn't get me, eh? Right, bye.